Hey guys, today we're going to talk about these art crayons. These are Marabou art crayons. These are water soluble wax crayons. And I just saw them in the art store today. I was really excited to try them out. So I bought a bunch of them. What I noticed, actually one of the first things I thought about was how similar they appeared to be to Faber-Castell Gelato product, which is also a crayon. I believe it's wax-based, I'm not sure. It's also water-soluble. It's a very similar product. I liken these to drawing with a lipstick. That is kind of what it feels like to draw with these. These twist up, as you can see. I'm gonna show you how much product you get in these. So you get a good, uh, what, two, good tall, solid two inches of product in these. I've really barely scratched the surface on the top so it's about what it was when I bought it maybe a little bit less but not much so that's what you get in the gelatos I just purchased a whole bunch of these today these art crayons by Marabou there you can buy them on the Dick Blick website I bought these today at Artist and Craftsman which they are on sale Artist and Craftsman right now and you get a package I think they're typically like three dollars each these are two dollars each now for a single and you can get a package for seven dollars and fifty cents just for the sake of comparison I want to show you how much product you get with this. With one of these sticks, you get about three inches. That's a fair amount of product. The circumference is very similar to the gelato, almost identical, I think, except for the tapered end on the Marabou. I actually really enjoy that tapered end. I think that that'd be easier to draw with. I really love the gelato so much, and the color selection you get in gelatos is really fabulous. They have wide range of different palettes, and they're all pretty beautiful. The colors on these Marabou art crayons are not nearly as sophisticated as the gelatos. However, I have no problem mixing colors. I'm happy to mix colors. I enjoy mixing colors. So I also think that I'll be able to use these together. So today I thought I would do a little speed draw and test these out and we can see how they work and we can see how they mix with the gelatos and we can see how the colors mix together. So with that, let's do it. So the verdict on both of these, they worked really, really well together. I think they must have an extremely similar base carrier for the pigment because they blended pretty much the same. In terms of pigmentation, the Faber-Castell gelatos are a little more pigmented, but honestly, I didn't have any issues with the pigmentation of the Marabou. They were very nice and very rich colored, but I do think that the gelatos were just a little more pumped up. For white highlight, I would either leave paper white and kind of plan out where you wanted your highlight ahead of time or go in with fluid white acrylic paint afterwards because the Marabou white is kind of useless for highlights. It's good for minor lightening of the other shades, but it did not do what I was hoping it would do, which is to flow on top of the other colors and provide a really heavy white mark. I didn't get that from those. When you're mixing them with your fingers when dry, um, they mix really nice together, especially when you're using a paper that has some texture to it. However, be careful because these blend together with your finger the same way that a oil pastel does, which is nice at first, and then it will get very muddy very quickly if you're not careful. I'm going to take caution next time and plan less mixing together with my fingers. I loved to use water with this crayon. However, you ha I had to be judicious with the amount of water I used. A little water worked good. A lot of water does not work good. A lot of water just really wets down your page and makes a mess. One way I really enjoyed using the water is spraying a light spray just very lightly and then drawing directly on top of that moistened paper it gives a very inky line, a very rich and inky line. That's a fun way to use these because when the paper is absorbed with the water, the crayon just glides right in those crevices. You really get a very rich, deep line when you're doing it that way. The star of the show for me, the gelato fluorescents are awesome. They provide such a nice, bright light and highlight to anything I use them on. I just love the fluorescents in the gelato set that I have. I don't remember which set I have, but it's the one with the fluorescents in it and the fluorescents are awesome. Another thing about the gelatos is that there's not a lot of like creamy opacity to the colors. There's a mid 
blue shade that has the most opacity. Pinks are also heavier on the opacity than the other gelatos. I forgot to mention how much I love the gold of the Marabou colors. The gold is incredible. I did not get a chance to use it on this drawing. I forgot to use it and I wish that I had used it because it is so gorgeous. I will use it in a future video. So the verdict is I love them both. I think the gelatos definitely have more unique colors, more nuanced colors in the entire line of gelato product. The Marabou's were very nice and they blended really well. The colors are very nice. They're not just straight primary colors, but you know, they're not quite as sophisticated as the gelato line. So the gelatos win in terms of sophistication of color. The gelatos also win with the pigmentation, even though the marabous weren't underpigmented. So they just weren't hyper pigmented like the gelatos are. Packaging, marabou wins hands down. It's so much more ergonomically comfortable. I just really like the shape and how it feels in the hand. I really don't like the packaging of the gelatos. They're just not ergonomically comfortable. The plastic is very hard. It doesn't bend at all. So that is my main gripe with the gelatos. So all in all, they're both really good. They work good together. Got a lot of product and I'm happy with the product. These are kind of a nice little way to mix it up with the gelatos and I'm happy about that. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this today. If you haven't already and you're enjoying my content, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.